Um, please know that I, um, I'm someone who cares that you learn and cares that you're not frustrated and cares that you get what you need to do what you have to do. So don't ever hesitate, and I really mean this, to reach out to me and say, hey, you know, my mom is sick and I am just overwhelmed right now. I, I can't focus on anything because I'm going to say, hey, you know what, turn chapter three and four in in two weeks with chapter five and just get your life in order. I, I don't like late deadlines, but if you contact me and you say, I just, I'm overwhelmed with what's going on, I realize this is a tough time, you just let me know and I'll make exceptions uh, here and there. Okay, so for the most part, I just want you to do well. I want you to learn biology. So I don't really necessarily care about deadlines if you're learning, right? I care that you're learning, and so I'm going to work with you about deadlines and things like that. Any other questions before we start Chapter 1? Okay, so um, at the beginning of the, oh wait, how do you show proof you met for your extra credit virtually? A screenshot and an email do, sorry if I missed that and you already answered it. Well, the link in Blackboard for the extra credit is a link out to a video capture program that you, that you can all log in at the same time and you can actually record, you know, three or five minutes of your session while you're studying. And then that just populates in my gradebook. So that's probably the easiest way because I'll just see it. However, if you are, um, I don't know, maybe you all want to FaceTime with each other and one of you has a, a way of recording three, you know, like a FaceTime with different people. I don't know. If you have some other way of doing it, if you're in um, a Google Meet or something like that and you have a way of recording that you've all attended, you can do it that way. So you can be creative. The easiest way, though, for me would be if you use that link. Did I answer your question, Brianna? <laughs> okay. Any other questions or concerns? Excellent. Okay, so now we're going to move on to Chapter 1. And like I mentioned, the learning objectives are written out here. This is what I expect that you learn each um, in each chapter. So this is just learning objectives for chapter one. Um, and then sometimes I put little subheadings here that um, will tell you like, this is something I've asked a specific question about in the past. Maybe students didn't pull from this um, bigger statement. So I'm saying, no, I want you to specifically know how to do this. And I'm gonna ask you a test question on it. I wanna specifically um, know why hypothesis has to be testable and falsifiable. You know, so I want you to be able to address this. So if it's one of these things, think of it like a test question and be able to answer it. Um, Alexis, good question. For each test, yes, but between tests, no. So you could do um, Alexis and Brianna and Sim in one for exam one. But then for exam two, Alexis, you might meet with Shazia and Brayden for exam two. Does that answer your question? But you have to meet with that same group three times. All right, so let's get into chapter one. We have about a half an hour left before um, we're done here. And um, I'm going to stop the recording again and restart it.